If you are truly being intentional in your life and you want to find love and you're just over the dating, okay, um, make sure to subscribe because this is all the things that I'm all about. I found my happily ever after my person. We've been married together for 16 years. So if, if that resonates with you, if you want no BS, straight advice on how you can find it too, make sure you subscribe, make this a habit where you can always find out when I post a new episode every Monday and Thursday. The Bachelorette, Jen, we need to talk about what just happened. So good. Um, and spoiler alert, okay? So if you haven't seen it, um, you need to watch it. Regardless, listen to this episode because you are, regardless, even if you don't watch the show, this is so good. Jen says something that really struck a chord in me and I know will strike a chord in you. She said, I have lived this, I have done this before where I am teaching someone how, what it is to love and how to prioritize me. And I'm not gonna do this anymore. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so good. I am all about, you know, being intentional and choosing a partner that will prioritize you. And that, you know, people are not just like, oh, I'm gonna see how it goes and maybe I'll prioritize you. No, like when you are putting yourself out there and you are saying, I wanna find my person, a partner to do life with, people are navigating their life like that. And so when she, starts to feel like she's pulling teeth with da 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 guess who freaking sam who from day one i was like red flag times this is toxic shit and he is so full of shit and honestly i'm getting massive love bombing vibes where he's saying all the things he's saying so many things like i love he actually says i love you when he, she said what is it you like about me and he she he really couldn't think of anything to say like he really couldn't he finally says something like you want to have a family and there are a lot of people like that out in the world and i thought the bachelor was going to be daisy I almost died when he said that. I was like, are you kidding? He's like, and I got out of the limo and you're not my type. Sam was saying so many things that were just so like awful. He's just so immature. Like my biggest thing with him is that he lacks emotional intelligence. These are facts. Like this is not just like, oh, my opinion. These are facts, okay? So if you are watching, this is why this show, The Bachelorette, is so good for you to watch. If you're on your journey dating and connecting with people or just being open to meeting someone, Sam is perfect example of someone you should run the other way from. He literally doesn't say anything. Like all he, it's like the main thing is the main thing. Like <laughs> literally ferocious love. I want a ferocious love. Like what is, and Jen is calling him out. Like Jen's like, tell me what that looks like. T what is it about me that you like? And he is just speechless. He doesn't know. So then he just blurts out like, I love you. And she's like, how do you love me when you don't even know me? So proud of Jen, honestly. This is where it's so clear as day that Jen has emotional intelligence. She's emotionally mature. She knows what she wants and she's not willing to just settle for bullshit. And she's willing to call herself out. She even said, this is physical. This is so physical. And like, ladies, this is what I'm trying to tell you guys all the time. Take it slow. Do not kiss the first guy do just not like seriously put that aside kissing is a big deal like i really want people to just you know like oh we just kissed we just made out we just dry hump like <laughs> all of kissing is a big deal it is and so she's like getting hot and heavy kissing sam and like you know really lost sight of like are we aligned and finally she's like waking up and she's and she's you know a little hard on herself on this episode where she's like you know i pride myself on being intuitive and being able to like see people for who they are i'm mad that i like didn't see this earlier and i really feel that we don't realize how the physical connection can blind us we put on the blinders and so I'm just happy that Jen didn't have sex with him. 
Cause like that would have been really, a, that would have been a real shit show, honestly. So I'm so happy that she put on the brakes with him. And you know, when he couldn't answer a question for on the radio show that they were in Seattle and she, and he, it was just so cringe all of it, how he could not answer any questions. He would just talk and talk and talk and never say anything and always go back to him. She was, she was like, you know, he's like, you're selfless. And she's like, Oh, how am I selfless? He was, he had no clue. Like he just, he literally just saying things like he's just saying whatever. Um, and she, he just starts kissing her. It's cause of this. And he kisses her and it's so cringe. You guys, like I was so grossed out. I'm like, Oh God, this is so bad. So I am just so proud of Jen for saying bye bye. And I think that she is going to inspire so many of you to not settle for bullshit. And for guys that just blow smoke up your ass and say, you know, they love you and they don't even know you, you know, Jen realizes how worthy she is. And I think that what the position that she's in as a bachelorette, she is kind of leaning into the abundance mindset because there's so many guys that want her attention, want her love. And I feel like where you are at in your life, you may not feel abundance. You may feel scarcity where you're like, no one's out here. Where are the people like crickets on the apps and everyone sucks. And, and so you may very well settle for the freaking Sam. And so what I challenge you to do honestly is truly start looking around you and be like abundance. Like instead of saying there's nobody out there, it is so hard. Catch yourself, self-awareness, reflection, and say, what if you are like Jen? Because you are, by the way, you, there are a line of men that want to be with you. So many, just imagine like that. So it's not, the question isn't, does he like you? The question is, do you like them? And so I want you to clean your lens. I want you to look at the world with opportunities and abundance. And there's so many people and stop settling for that first guy that gives you attention, the half ass surface shit love, like the Sam. I, I want you to get the crazy love, the amazing love. The ferocious love, like freaking Jen says, and Sam doesn't even understand what that means. I love how he, tw he makes it into reckless love because <laughs> like, he's such a wreck. He's such a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy for Jen that she dodged a bullet. Okay. I, I need to talk about a couple other things before I let you guys go. Honestly, this is so gold, this episode. Um, Marcus. Okay. You know, I, I always had like a soft spot for him. You know, he's the army veteran guy and he's such a great guy, but you know, he opens up on the one-on-one -on -one and he says that he was in foster homes and bless him. And I like, I love that he was able to share that. I don't know why Jen, like, first of all, Jen should have taken my program. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I could have coached her through this. Like, I really want to be a coach on this show because I feel like things would just have better results. Um, she didn't ask him like, oh my gosh, like, thank you for sharing. Like, what have, like, have you healed? Have you gone through therapy? Like, that's a lot for a little kid to go through. And I don't know if he has, because he said the feeling of liking someone and going to feeling of, of love feels like a canyon. Okay, you guys, red flag. That's like a massive red flag. I'm like, oh no, Marcus. And this is where I'm seeing things through my lens where I'm like, oh shit, this is a red flag. You got to ask some questions to get more clarity. She's like, oh my God, here's my rose. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, Jen, wait, you don't know if he's done that inner work. You don't know if he's available emotionally. You don't even know if he can get there with you and say, I love you. And I'm like, this isn't a build a man workshop times. It's not. And so Jen, I am worried. I am worried for her on that one because yes, Marcus has all these great things, but if he is not emotionally available, oh my gosh, no, this is going to be heartbreak for Jen. 
Okay, so that was Marcus. And I need to talk about just one more thing with Jeremy. Okay, I love that Jeremy went on the one-on-one -on -one with Jen and they talked about real things. They got, they, first of all, I had so much fun during the day, yada, yada, laughing, best friend vibes, which I always say is so important. But they also talked about the deep stuff and, you know, he's Jewish and he's talking about that and how his mother has loved her, his ex uh, girlfriends that were Catholic and that she would love Jen. Like, I love that he talked about those kind of things that are so important and how she's Buddhist and how that would look like for their kids and how th honestly they were aligned. It wasn't like, no, it has to be, they have to be Jewish and no, you, they have to be Buddhist. Like they were like, let's bring it both together. And they were just so cute about it. Like, I don't know, something about Jeremy, I like him. Do I think like he's a perfect match for her? I don't know. Like I'm, I think it's going to be telling to see how they are at hometowns. Um, but I like him. I do. I feel like he's like a genuine person. I think he's really putting his heart on his sleeve. He, he's not jaded. He's ex excited. He, he genuinely cares about her. So I don't know. Let's see what happens with Jeremy. And oh my gosh, she sent home. Brum. That's supposed to be a drum roll. That's like the worst drum roll ever. She sent home Spencer. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, I never thought Spencer was going to last. He's a sweet guy. Like, no offense at all, you know, but I just didn't see them too vibing too much. Um, but Spencer, bless his heart, when he called his mom. Oh my God, you guys. That was like, I feel like people are going to go after him in on social. Um because his mom was like, oh, baby. And he is like, mom, I'm going home. And I feel for him. And I, you know, you want a guy that is, you know, sensitive and he loves his mom. Like, it's really important. But there is a feeling about it that really felt like he's like, like a baby. Like, oh my God, this guy is not ready for a relationship. I know whatever you want to think of that, but that truly felt like I was cringing there. And like, I love my parents. I'm super close to them, but that feeling of where he was at, I love that he loves his mom. I love that his mom was supportive, but something about the, that exchange, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm like, Ugh, cringe. Oh God, Spencer. Yeah, I felt for him. Um, there's no way he's going to be the next Bachelor. On that note, who is the next Bachelor was just rejected on today's, uh, on this week's episode was Grant. And, you know, Grant laid it on the line and he said that he was falling in love with her. But I really didn't feel like she was falling in love with him. I just didn't think it was reciprocated. They just weren't on the same page. And, but I like Grant. So I'm like, okay, Grant's, okay, that could be really fun. Him as, I don't know. Is it going to be fun? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why he said fun. Because Grant, it's not like he seems like loads of fun. Like the one that's the most fun to me is Devin. Like I absolutely love Devin. I, and on this episode, oh my God, it was so freaking cute that, you know, they said, Jen said that she's falling in love with Devin. I am loving this. Like, it's just so, it's such a, like, kind of an interesting pairing between the two of them. But for some reason, I am digging it. I am digging it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments on YouTube if you're listening there. You can also leave a comment on Spotify. Shoot me a DM on the Jackie Lore. I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you for listening. And I will see you next time. Do not settle for anything less than crazy love because it has to be crazy love or nothing. Thank you.